Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. You are looking at a park advertising lighter. for crane and then on this side it tells us crane supply company Bloomington Illinois 663-5355 and then Springfield Illinois 523 Interestingly enough Park Lighter Company, which in the 1960s moved to Murfreesboro, Tennessee, originated in Springfield, Illinois. Several things going on here with this lighter other than the advertising. The fact that The lower portion of the case, I believe, is aluminum and is finished sort of like the um, brushed chrome Zippo to where you can see the grain in the metal on the front and the back, but then the sides is a slicker finish. So that appears to me to be aluminum. The lid appears to be chrome plated brass, which um, I don't know exactly. I know I have seen several um, park lighters with different color lids than the body. So I don't know how common that was, but it doesn't appear as though it was uncommon. But as I said, it's like you have three finishes because you've got the, the high polished chrome of the lid, the dull kind of satin slickness of the side, and then the, the uh, brushed chrome of the front and back. It's a nice lighter. Uh, especially at, for an advertising lighter. If you like advertising lighters, it's, uh, it's got a lot to offer there. Now the insert was, appears to be aluminum and is not marked. Has some dense dings. I removed the old foam insert and replaced it with cotton. The plastic had uh, partially degraded there you can see into the foam and um, it needed to be re-wicked so uh, I just went ahead. I didn't really see how you uh, I don't know seems kind of like a lazy effort at wicking it with that foam. You can't really intersperse it in there, so I'm not sure. This just seemed like a better setup to me, so I went ahead and changed it out. does have scuffs, scrapes, maybe some dings. I'm not sure, don't really see any dents. 
It's a very nice lighter. Most used lighters are going to have wear of some sort. certain that Park moved to Murfreesboro, Tennessee in 1960 or there and about. So I'm not sure exactly about these phone numbers. Were there not area codes before 1960? I'm not sure about those phone numbers. It seems like there should be area codes. But maybe that was before the advent of the area code. Uh, I was born in 1971, so... I don't remember the last, the first time I dialed a phone, but it was after the slider was produced. I'm sure of that. If you like old cigarette lighters, tobacchiana, ashtrays, and other useful mechanisms, Please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video that you're watching. Please tell your friends about the channel. These are all three actions that will help us immensely as the channel grows. Uh, so we're able to keep making these videos, both uh, functional lighter videos and instructional videos. And uh, who knows what else may come along. Uh... So tell your friends, hit that share button, send it off in a text message, uh, email, social media, however it is that you communicate with people nowadays, and let them get a look at it for themselves. Comment below if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions. Also, we would appreciate it if you would like us across all of the social media platforms. That would be Dependable Flame or DependableFlame.com on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and of course, like us on eBay. Until next time. Merry Christmas, everyone.